Hey guys, so sorry it's been so long since I've made a video, but I wanted to make sure that I could work the 3D printer and get some good quality prints out of it. So now that it's been a few weeks and I've gotten used to the printer and I've kind of dialed in the settings and as you can see I've printed a lot of stuff, I'm going to talk about what I've done and my experience so far with the CraftPot 3D printer. Alright, so as you can see, I at, the one that came with it was blue, and so I got a lot of stuff in blue, and recently I purchased some white online, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So the first couple of prints, I think, were this Space Invader. Oh, let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. See, as you can see, that came out hollow because I did not have the top layer set in done yet. And that was actually the first one where the extrusion was off because it wasn't tight enough on the plastic and it stopped extruding altogether. And then the little one came out kind of better but it was little and really just bad looking. And then after that I think I printed Marvin the Martian or Marvin, the little robot guy, off of Thingiverse. And here, I'll show you the file right now. It is... Sorry, not here. But just look up Marvin on Thingiverse.com, and you will find him. And as you can see, he did all right with the bottom drooping, but I would have had some support for it to come out more round. And after that, I printed this case which I customized with the hexagon pattern and as you can see it's very glossy on the back and I actually made these walls hollow so it broke but I think if you had made them with infill it, you would have done all right if it's pretty well on my phone I'm recording on my phone so I can't put it on but if it's pretty well it doesn't look too bulky it is kind of sharp when you get it so you might want to file the edges down so to make it fit good, but it's a nice, nice print. Not very much protection, but it's good. Um, and then over here, you can actually see this deck box that I printed in very, very many pieces. I actually started by printing a smaller version that was half the size. You see this is the side panel and the gear lever, or lid and that was actually half the size. And since it was based off of the smaller version I only had to print these side parts that were longer. You see the gear lifts up these things that lift up a uh, panel on the bottom and lifts up the cards. So yeah. And here's the file right here for the smaller one. It's called the non-warping the non-warping warping complex deck box with spring. Originally by the um, Belrius B E L R I U S on Thingiverse, and then this guy holes in it so that it would adhere better and not warp and then over here you can see the large version which is this one right here and this one is by someone named Cylindric C-I-L-I-N-D-R-I-C let me see a little, little guy here so I use that one oh my bad so I use that one to print the bigger box with the old panels from the non-warping one. So, and then after all that stuff, I printed the bigger box. This box, these are the original parts, the bottom plate to this box and all the original parts. And then after that, I actually ordered some white filament because my dad wanted some snowflakes as ornaments for gifts. So we ordered some white, and I'm gonna put a name plate here. And the first thing I printed was the Space Invader in white. 
which I sanded a little bit. He came out alright. The white filament is very different than than the uh, blue filament that I got from Craft and Make. Um, or actually, I'm going to show you the file for the Space Invader first. It is by Robin Robinsville Robinsville High School. It's called Space Invader Ornament Keychain. Oh, there we go. It's called Space Invader Ornament and Keychain, and that. This is how it, the original size. It's about, let's say, two inches. It's pretty good size. Pretty thick. And it's nice. I, I did it with um, 20 per, 10, 20% infill. It came out nice and solid. So I like that. And the filament is this one from eBay seller Fave Prices, F A V E Prices, on eBay. And I really like this filament. It is, you can get in a kilogram or half kilogram, you can get. 1.75 millimeter, 3 millimeter, and you can get ABS, PLA, or nylon in various colors, including glow in the dark colors and mixed colors. This filament is, let's see, let me just choose one real quick. This filament is $15.50 without shipping, with $7 shipping, so it's $22.50 about. And it is actually very high quality. I will actually try to show you right now. As you can see, it comes in a big spool. And it's actually glossy and smooth. And I like this one better. It comes out of the extruder a lot goopier, like thicker, as compared to the one from Craft Unique, which comes out a lot a runnier. And I actually like this one better. It's glossier and the texture is a lot smoother. And I like I like these guys. They seem honest. And the shipping didn't take too long, like six days. But it's yeah, that's not bad. So check them out. Fave prices, F A V E prices on eBay. And they have good quality filament. So far, I'm liking their stuff and I'm gonna refer a black roll to make some black deck boxes for a friend. Anyways, so hopefully that will give you a little update on what I've been doing. I'm about to print some more of the ornaments with names on them and, you know, get those out to people. I will make another video on the craft bot itself and problems and stuff I've had with it, you know, just so you know how the machine runs. And hopefully I'll get that up soon. So thank you. Oh, and I recently made an Instagram for the for my 3D printing stuff. It is called Makerman16 on Instagram. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Makerman16. I'll put a link in it, link for it in the description, so you can follow that for updates on my 3D printer a lot faster than YouTube. And subscribe and like and comment if you have questions. I'll try to answer those. All right, see you.